Sorry, folks. I'm so furious about this whole melamine formula thing that I'm actually like Shoes. sick to my freaking stomach. Shoes. I don't have time to shower before I tell you this. I just have to do it. Go to my blog. If you're not a reader of my blog, everything is written up on the blog. Google Mrs. Furious, you'll find it. Um, there are no shoes. Oh, you want juice? Juice? My apple juice? Orange shoes? Okay. Here's the deal. You may recall there was melamine found in formula in China. You know, caused kidney stones, babies died, I mean, it's awful. Everyone's outraged. The U.S. FDA says, you know, some kind of vague statement about, you know, no level of melamine being, um, not being a health risk. That's before they tested for any melamine. Then they tested and they found melamine in all three major um, formula manufacturers in the U.S. Did they issue a recall? Did they even tell parents? No. What did they do? Then they established a safety limit, conveniently based on the limit they found so that every, every product falls just below their new established safety guidelines when before they didn't have any safety guidelines. Um, how did they do that? Did they actually test it on babies to find out what's safe? No, they actually backtracked the numbers until they came up with a number that allowed for these products to still be safe. I'm so outraged. Number one, let's just say that any melamine testing has been done on a 130 pound adult you can find this at the FDA. Not on infants. Number two, baby formula? It's not like I'm a 130 pound adult and I'm consuming products with this minimal, you know, whatever technically safe amount of a toxic compound um, in my food. If, a, if this toxic compound is in, in your formula and you're a formula fed baby, 100% of your diet consists of a tainted product. I mean, how is this not outrageous? So, Mr. F was doing research last night, and he, in his point, which is, you know, also valid, is, I mean, we all got so outraged, all the dog food that was tainted with melamine was pulled from the shelves, but now that it's in a U.S. product, conveniently, no one needs to lose any money, none of this, you know, like, out fucking rageous. So, you know, now I'm, like, all depressed and uh, agitated, and feeling like, I'm an educated, smart woman with resources, right? I can afford organic food. I can, I have the time and the wherewithal and the means with which to research what I'm feeding my kids. Many people do not. Um, and they don't know about this. You know, like, they don't know that this is in what they're feeding their kids or they're not being allowed to make a decision for themselves. So pissed off. And this is kind of what it's come to. This is the price for convenience, unfortunately. We want everything to be convenient, and I'm not, I'm not this has nothing to do with the formula, my saying that. The things that the melamine is in, while it is in the whole food supply, they use it to clean processing. They use melamine as a cleaner to clean stuff. They are not supposed to use it on milk products. The FDA has not released a statement, neither have any of the companies, as to why the milk products, like in the formula, were tainted with melamine because they're legally not supposed, to, not able to use this, and they're not able to package um, milk products in melamine uh, infused containers. While other products, FYI, are allowed to be, and they're also those equi that equipment is allowed to be um, cleaned with melamine. So think about it, and then freak out. And if you read my blog, you will know that my point about all this is, since when do we have to get to a point where we have to accept that we are going to be poisoned a little bit? You know, like, that it's okay. That if you're outraged that there's poison and stuff, like, you're a freak. No! Why are we not all outraged? Why are we not all thinking, like, hey, I've got this organic apple juice and it's sitting in a fucking plastic bottle. And, like, it's turned out that maybe that's not going to be such a great idea, you know? How about back in the day when everything was in glass?
but that cost more money and it wasn't as convenient and now everything's in plastic everything it just makes me furious it really does because there are things where you know unless you want to go <laughs> off the grid and like become a crazy homesteader I mean you really can't avoid plastic packaging on your food even even if you're getting all organic stuff um, and if that's how this stuff is getting into the food which of course no one is really saying um, it's in your food ah uh, god really really how is not everyone overwhelmed with you know fury that <coughs> don't mind me as I lug my giant cast iron pan onto the stove because I won't cook in Teflon <laughs> and you shouldn't either not stick, I know. It's for convenience, but stuff doesn't stick to your ca cast iron either, and it's not poisonous. Factually. <sighs> People, I'm really upset because I spend a lot of time worrying, not just worrying, but like trying to figure this stuff out. And it's like every week there's something else. You know, like I cannot stay on top of stuff enough without something else coming up. And my kids weren't even believing the formula. It's not about that. It's about. The fact that the FDA tested 200-something products, 100-something of those were formula, what the heck were the other 100? I want to know. Is it something that we're having? You know what I mean? Like, so obviously the other 100 are products that aren't formula. What are they? Is anyone going to tell anybody so that we can uh, make an informed decision about what we're feeding our family?